Pennsylvania. Hey guys, Iron Mandrill here. When you think of monkeys, what are the first species that come to your mind? Gorillas? Orangutans? And of course chimpanzees, right? Well, what if I told you that none of these species are actually monkeys? While they're all in the primate family, none of them fall under the monkey classification. The easiest way to tell if a primate is a monkey is if it has a tail. All monkeys have tails. Sorry, George, you may be curious, but monkey, you are not. In today's video, we'll be discussing the largest, and in my opinion, the coolest of all species of monkeys. That's right, it's the mandrill. The mandrill, or rather the mandrillus sphinx, is native to West Central Africa and can be found in tropical rainforests and can be spotted moving across savannas. Their primary diet consists of fruits and seeds, but they will also consume mushrooms, leaves, insects, and small animals. Mandrills travel in groups called hordes, which can number into the hundreds. These groups are mostly female, since the males are typically more solitary and will find their way back during the breeding season. Mandrills are one of the most colorful mammals in the world. With both red and blue skin on its face and rear, the more vibrant its color, the more dominant the male mandrill tends to be. Mandrills sadly are on the vulnerable species list, and while their total population is unknown, it is estimated to be only around 4,000, and that they have been declining over 30% in the last 25 years due to habitat loss and being hunted for their bushmeat. These monkeys have been around for a long time, and hopefully will be around for a while longer. On a lighter note, you probably recognize this species from The Lion King. My guy Rafiki does mandrills proud by being one of the best parts of an already fantastic movie. While Rafiki certainly has a bushy beard and the iconic colorful facial pattern that mandrills are known for, he has an unusually large tail for the mandrill species, leading many to confuse him to the similar monkey species, the baboon. In fact, mandrills used to be classified as baboons before they were moved into their own genesis. The Lion King reboot actually got this right about Rafiki, where the tail looks much more accurate to how a mandrill tail should look like. But, then again, the less said about that movie, the better. Although mandrills and baboons share some similar characteristics, such as they are both large primates in the old monkey family that are native to Africa, there are several key distinctions to tell a baboon and a mandrill apart. While mandrills typically live in wet areas like tropical rainforests, baboons can be found in much drier areas like deserts, as some types of baboons, such as the chachma baboon, can go up to 11 days without water. One of the easiest ways to tell them apart is by color. Mandrills are much more colorful than baboons with their reds and blues and yellows and dark greens, whereas baboons are typically a much more mundane brown, black, or gray. Mandrills are much shyer compared to their aggressive relatives, while mandrills will attack if provoked, they're not aggressive compared to those of baboons. Baboons are diligent and aggressive hunters and are known to have raided farms and houses looking for food. As stated in the title of this video, mandrills are the world's largest living monkey species, so of course baboons are smaller. The average male mandrill weighs between 65 and 95, while the average female is between 55 and 65 pounds, that is. Whereas the largest baboon species, the chachma baboon, the males weigh around 55 to 65 pounds, and the females weigh around 30 pounds. So the next time your friend says, that Rafiki is a baboon, you can tell him, hey idiot, he's actually a mandrill. Well, hope you guys enjoyed this video. I'll probably upload pretty frequently from here on out. If you like what you saw, subscribe for more future content. If you didn't like what you saw, well, hopefully your next video is more enjoyable. This is Iron Mandrill here signing off. Have yourselves a wonderful day. Ciao.